now if you are looking for a college which is still open or which is open and accepting applications for january intake and of course may intake of 2024 remember i said there are three intakes for colleges try to check niagara college all right i'm going to put the name somewhere here check this college and pay attention to the programs that are open not all programs are open please check those programs which are open and again remember there is an application fee you have to pay international students some people are complaining that they don't want to pay application fee bro you are going to decide if you will give this hundred canadian dollars to the admissions team the thing is very funny to me anyways let's move further now another thing you should pay attention to is that colleges don't need a lot of requirements just have your certificates ready originals and the transcripts and if you are able to tell your university to send your transcript to the college then you are good to go check niagara college now watch the entire video so that you understand what i'm talking about and again remember before you even apply to a school in canada have ten thousand canadian dollars in your bank account hey guys welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for joining today the chairman of the brook community is back again here and if you are a member of the brook community thank you so much for joining if you are not a member of the brook community let's say the rich community thank you so much for joining so today's video i want to talk about some things i have noticed that a lot of people usually come to my comment section and they are like trying to ask me a lot of people usually come they are like milton can i move to canada if i apply to to a community college can i move with family others would say milton can i move to canada if i apply for a one-year program in a university or community college or a certificate program for one year can i move with family i'm going to be explaining all of this year in this video others will be like milton people often say that if i have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree i shouldn't apply to a community college because i may not get the visa they will say i'm trying to downgrade myself as a matter of fact there is a subscriber i got admissions for her but her uncle said the same thing to her and she later dropped the admissions and they are now looking for something else which i think the uncle is not well informed i will be talking about this in this video year all right it doesn't matter like i always say but i'm going to talk about that other categories are like milton what if i decide to go first then how long will i stay before i bring my family in i'm going to be answering them in this video first let me talk about the duration in which you can bring your family into canada when you travel to canada first if you are an international student going on a study permit know that for you to bring your family in canada you can then decide you can bring them in after one month two months three months four months depending on you and your budget remember everything boils down to budget so if you want them to come in as fast as possible it depends on you but again i'm going to talk about something let me first of all give you these reasons why you should move with family to canada because it's going to stop let's say it's going to cut the cost all right but in other scenarios if you do not have enough money you cannot migrate with family at once all right like yesterday i was in call with somebody she is a family of four but she told me she wants to go first yes that's a brilliant idea and for you to go first it means that you are leaving your family behind remember you always need to document or prove that you have to return back home after your studies so your family back in nigeria or if you are leaving your family back in nigeria it gives you more reasons to prove that you have home ties all right you have something tying you back to your home country which is your family and if you have maybe two children three children and your husband back home and some few properties and maybe a business that is excellent way to show family ties now let me talk about the ties the family ties are your family back home if you have a job back home and you are on a study leave all right then you need to prove to the visa officer that you have a job after this program you are going to return back to the job okay that is a tie then your family back home is home ties or let me say family ties that is a tie then if you have a business you are equally going to show that you have a business remember if you are indicating when you are filling the visa application form that you have a business you should be able to show proof of the business 
but because that's the only legal way to prove that you have a business if you have a business that is a proof that you are going to come back all right you now explain to them tell them that you have your family back home you have a business and when you finish your program you are going to come back do not forget to draw the program you are applying to and relating it back to your home country what the program is going to help you achieve to better your own economy remember you should always remember that you have to return to your home country when you are applying for the visa and when you are writing your statement of purpose should i go into a diploma program if i have a master's degree a bachelor's degree absolutely yes anybody telling you that it doesn't work is a big fat lie as a matter of fact i know two people studying in ontario they are master's degree holders all right i know one person personally that is a bachelor's holder studying in ontario okay now what do you need when you have a higher degree and you are going for a college diploma there may be reasons why you have decided to go in for a college diploma the first reason is finance most state universities or universities in canada are very expensive now looking at universities and colleges college is the best because the tuition is somehow affordable with ten thousand eleven thousand twelve thousand thirteen thousand you can get something even fourteen thousand, you can get something in most scenarios you may even move to canada before you start paying the tuition fee in other cases you can even pay in six installments or three or four or five or two installments all right but over universities you may not have all of this and again university tuition in canada is very expensive so if you are from the broad community then you should be looking at the colleges all right now another advantage for you going over a college than a university is that going to a college than a university is that to apply to universities most of times if you want to apply for a master's program in most universities you need a supervisor in colleges you don't need all this the requirements for universities are very very daunting like they'll be asking for motivation letter recommendation letters um, which is one of the very big problems we have because most of us we graduated maybe like five six or seven years ago and we are not able to to meet our lecturers to give us recommendation letters so putting all the requirements together the university's requirements are very heavy colleges you just need to have your transcript of records for high school and uh, your, your certificate and maybe to an extent your bachelor's degree transcript and a certificate and an english proficiency that is it you are good to go in some colleges you can even go in and you do an english exam before you continue with your degree with your program all right but in university if you don't have ielts or maybe toefl there is no way you can go in so these are some of the reasons you should consider another reasons why you should be choosing a community college is because maybe the duration in university most programs at least 80 percent of programs in universities will last for like two to three years but in colleges you can take a course for maybe eight months one year if you are from the broad community and you are targeting uh the budget or maybe because of course we are going to school to make money to feed our families right you should be looking at colleges and now because you have a master's degree that doesn't stop you from applying to college but make sure what you are applying to in the community college should reflect to what you are currently doing at the moment or what you actually graduated from school in all right so as to convince to find reasons to convince a visa officer because you have a master's degree already going back to do a diploma program is somehow downgrading your masters right yes but there are various reasons to that but you need to convince the visa officer to give you the visa this is what you are going to do let's assume you graduated five ten years ago right you have been working in a real estate firm let's assume that maybe you have been doing maybe marketing accountancy stuff like that anything related to these two but you have a degree in botany right now are you going to apply to a community college or a university again for a master's degree in botany no sometimes universities will look at the gap of your study and they may not accept you but in community colleges they will take you okay now when you are applying for a program you have to remember you graduated five or ten years ago and 
if you are looking at what you did in school you did botany that's just an example before i continue with this video guys please remember i'm not a licensed immigration consultant i'm just sharing my knowledge my research capabilities to help internationals study abroad all right and i equally do some other services which are not like i said i'm not a licensed immigration consultant i'm just sharing my knowledge now you are doing something related to accountancy and sales can you apply again for botany or maybe something related to biology no way because you graduated 10 years or five years ago now you should look at something that is related to your job description you are doing accountancy business maybe you should now be going to business administration project management business administration project management maybe accountancy business slash finance business slash tourism marketing strategic management stuff like that all right because they actually relate to their job at that present this present moment not what you did in university some five or ten years ago now this is the program the type of programs you should be checking now when you apply for this program and get admissions you can now find your way and squeeze yourself give reasons to the visa officer that though you graduated 10 years ago in botany but for the past five to ten years you have been doing this and you want to study this course so as to gain more knowledge and when you return back to nigeria remember you always need to return when you return back to nigeria you will now open your own firm or financial company or a small business organization things related to what you are doing right yes without the knowledge of you going or without the knowledge from this college or without the knowledge from this program you think that you may not be better equipped to carry out this project within your community and you always make sure you mention community because at the end of the day you need to learn you remember you are going to school you are going to the school what are you going there to gain you need to gain something to come back and better your economy you understand so this is how you link program let's say you applied maybe you, you you graduated some maybe five years ago with biochemistry then maybe along the line you find something like medical bio, uh, biology or maybe you've been working with some projects on tissues or tissue cultures all right then along the line maybe you find something on medical biology this is something you should apply for in college if you don't want to go and study masters in university right so that al along the way you should now tell them that maybe you want to gain some specific skills all right you want to gain some type of specialization so as to carry continue with the job you were doing in this so 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 laboratory if you are a lab assistant or maybe a lab attendant right this is how you you you, you talk about these things and ease your way to the visa because if you don't tell them the reason why you and when you return back home you intend to open your own private laboratory so as to help analyzing some of these things you, you know what you are going to say right you put it together now let's come back to the issue of the the finance remember i said you can the easiest way is to move with your family but first there are two things you need to consider here. one your money to the college you are applying to to me i always advise people that if you want to apply to a community college and you move with your family try to apply applying for one year program is enough for you to move right but it's always good to choose a two-year program apply to a program or a college that you can study for two years or a two years program this is the reason you are moving with a family right to better convince the visa officer you need to be able to find ways you understand find ways to tell he or she that the reason why you want to move with them is because you cannot be away for too long and you need them by your side since you are going for a two years program is going to help you a lot a very much you understand so these are some of the reasons you should look at it and again remember proof of funds is very very important i have over emphasized on this on this channel Just remember the the money for a one year living cost and the first dependent is 500 times 12 you add it to your living cost the second dependent is 400 times 12 you add it to your living cost that is 400 uh, cad you add it to your living cost the third dependent 300 
the more the people increase in the family the lesser the amount or the more the the the, 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 the amount reduces from 500 backwards you understand is it almost the same procedure as uh, with the case of uh, finland so these are some of the things you should put into consideration but if you do not have enough money i would suggest you move in there first then you later bring them in for those of you who want to apply for january intake i want to draw your indulgence here that a lot of these uh, institutions are already closing their doors for january all right 2024 so you have to be careful with what if you are thinking of going maybe to british uh, columbia to to study or maybe to uh, new brunswick you should understand that most of the colleges are almost closed for 2024 there is a school i saw it's already closed all right new brunswick community college is already closed for january 2024 may 2024 and they are saying that they are going to open uh september next year september 2024 admissions in july so you understand there is a, a girl i did uh application for her already in a school in nova scotia and the school told me the program is already full for january so I'm now trying to see how I can squeeze them to give her a program available. You understand? Because she has to move. The plan is that she has to move. So and a lot of people are moving. So you should put this into consideration. Do not waste a lot of time. You just need the money. Learn how to build your bank statement. Don't make errors, guys. Don't make errors. One of my friends made an error with the visa application when he was doing a visit visa. He is in a foreign country and applying for a foreign country to move to Canada. Did not put um, his residence permit in that country. And some other documentation. It's not, don't make errors. Some of you are like, you, you forgot to put your birth certificate and your marriage certificate. How can you forget something like that? Come on. You should be smart. You should be active. All right. So these are some of the things you should put into consideration. They are very, very important, guys. Very, very important for the success of your visa. I'm taking time to explain all of this because I know at the end of the day, we need all of this. All right. As a student, when you move in there, you are going to work 20 hours a week. All right. But don't go in there with the notion that you are going to start working your tuition fee in there. Somebody was complaining to me on this comment section of this channel that, um, she she already paid um i think seven thousand dollars to her school in is it in Caglario or abelta i don't remember but now the tuition fee is like 18k how are you going to pay the balance and when you go to school you have to pay some money before you start lectures Trust me. they would balk you they will press you they will try to ask more money from you of course you have to pay you can make this money in there and you pay for sure you can do it but the problem is the first two semesters the first three or four semesters you cannot raise the money because remember you are going to school to start lectures immediately you need time to assess your documents then prepare for look for a job before you start working part-time and going to school all right so please always select what Another you can is international students those of you that are moving with your spouse know that if you are going with your spouse your spouse will have a right to work full-time she will be on a full-time working visa all right the visa they are giving to her would be the one to guarantee her to work but you as the the, the, the person taking the dependent you going as a student you would work only part-time all right so that is another way looking at it it's it's technically true and very possible for you to move immediately with your spouse if you have the money because don't go and force yourself and don't do a correct bank statement because you want to move with your spouse at the end of the day you are rejected it's always try to avoid rejections for the first time guys all right it's very important i hope this information is going to help you please always consider remember accommodation in toronto is very expensive ontario toronto is very expensive all right so when you are going try to budget yourself 700 800 900 know that this is the cheapest you can get okay but if you think that it's not a good idea for you to stay live forever or maybe get your postgraduate work permit in ontario then that is fine but i always say target new brunswick manitoba british columbia uh saskatchewan nova scotia these are some of the places all right i think life in these places may be somehow affordable and i equally drop a list of uh, affordable universities in canada that you can take all right the video i dropped it yesterday 
so please go through all of these and see that you are good to go and again don't let anybody deceive you that you know you have a master's degree if you have a third class and no no university in canada is willing to take third class a lot of them will never take third class this is absolutely true a lot of them but is that the end of the world no you go for where go for what and where you are accepted right apply to colleges don't listen to people they are telling you it's impossible they are telling you it's impossible to them not to you all right you have to stand up and face your fears you have to stand up the fact that i was rejected in doing something does not mean that when you do it they will reject you no that's not how life is life is like a chameleon right life is like that so please put things into consideration and carry out action immediately the more you are wasting time the more people are moving and the more influx people are going and before you know maybe next year laws will change again please look at this video very well and think about it all right till we meet again another one